What's up guys, DRock1992 here. Uh, for this next video, I actually want to finish up the Motley Crue video I did because I forgot the um, to mention the singles for uh, Motley Crue on the Billboard that charted on the Billboard Hot 100. So I thought that I'd briefly uh, that I would briefly get that done. Um, the two singles that charted within the top ten or the highest charting single on the Billboard Hot 100 for Motley Crue was one of my favorite Motley Crue songs, Dr. Feelgood. It hit number six. Um, there was also another single that charted within the top ten, Without You, which uh, hit number eight. Um, number 19, uh, Don't Go Away Mad, Just Go Away. Um, number 12, Girls, Girls, Girls. Um, <laughs> excuse me, my cat. And, uh, number 16, Smoking in the Boys' Room. Uh, some other ones here. Um, let's see. Oh, that's pretty much it. Uh, they didn't have a lot of high charting singles on the Billboard Hot 100, but there is no doubt about it. They, um, Motley Crue was just a great band, period. Um, but at least they had a couple of singles in the top ten. Um, Dr. Feelgood actually is a gold single for Motley Crue. Um, and a couple, also a couple of, of songs... To mention, um, there's a non-album single that they actually released in 2012 uh, that was called Sex, um, which is a good single. It's um, it's a good track off the album. Um, so I definitely would suggest listen. I definitely would recommend it. Recommend it. It is a good Motley Crue song. And then I see that they released a new single a non-album single as well this year um, all bad things I'm gonna have to listen to that but um, I will yeah I'll definitely have to listen to it so that is it briefly finishing up the Motley Crue video uh, DRock1992 out